Have you ever thought about aging differently? Not as something we all just have to go through, but as a special journey that brings growth and learning? What if the old teachings of Buddhism, mixed with what scientists now know, could show us a way to age that's healthier and more joyful? And how do the choices we make every day affect how we age? And what part does our mindset play in this whole process? Welcome to Wisdom in Real Life, where we explore these big questions. We bring together the ancient wisdom of Buddhism with the latest in science to shine a light on how to grow older in a way that's full of life, calm, and deep understanding. Our journey today is filled with discoveries. We'll look at how our bodies and minds change as we get older and see what Buddhism and modern research say about living our best life at any age. This isn't just about adding more years to our life. It's about making those years count, filled with happiness and health. So stick with us until the end of this video. We've got lots of insights to share, and we promise it'll be worth your time. By staying tuned, you'll learn how to embrace aging with grace and wisdom. And we're all in this together. So, if you find something that speaks to you, something that lights up a bulb in your head, don't keep it to yourself. Like this video, hit the subscribe button, and share your thoughts with us in the comments section. Let's make our Wisdom in Real Life community a space where we all grow and learn about aging beautifully, backed by both the wise monks of old and the bright scientists of today. Here's to a journey of discovery, understanding, and living life to the fullest no matter our age. 1. Impermanence and the Science of Aging In life, everything changes. The leaves fall, flowers bloom, and each day turns into night. This idea, called impermanence, tells us that nothing stays the same forever. Buddha, a wise teacher from long ago, said understanding this change brings peace. Let's weave this ancient lesson with modern science to shed light on aging, showing us it's just another part of life's big adventure. Aging happens to everyone and everything. Scientists look at our body's cells to understand aging better. They found some cells, called senescent cells, that stop growing but don't go away. These cells are a bit like leaves that pile up in a garden, affecting its health. But here's a hopeful twist. How we feel and think about aging can actually influence how we age. Thinking positively and accepting aging can, in a way, water our body's gardens, helping us stay healthier. Being mindful, which means paying attention to the present moment, is a big part of Buddha's teachings. It's not just good for our spirit, it helps our bodies too. Did you know that being calm and present can actually touch our cells, maybe even slowing down aging? Science is looking into things like NAD+, a tiny helper in our cells that keeps them energized. It turns out, staying active, eating well, and even meditating might boost NAD+, keeping us feeling young and strong. Aging is like a puzzle, with many pieces like our genes, the air we breathe, and the choices we make every day. It's complex, but Buddha taught us about balance, finding a middle way that's just right. Science is also seeking balance, trying to understand how everything connects in aging. They're asking us to look at our lives, seeing how what we do and think affects our journey through the years. Helping with research on aging is kind of like being kind to future generations. It's about caring for others, a big part of Buddha's message. When we support science, we're helping find discoveries that could make everyone's lives better. It's like throwing a stone into a pond and watching the ripples spread out. Our actions can help others in ways we might not even imagine. As we get older, we can see beauty in change, like finding stories in the lines of a well-loved face or wisdom in the silver of hair. This doesn't mean we stop caring for ourselves or stop being curious about science. It means walking through life with open hearts, ready to learn from the past and the present, from Buddha and from scientists. So, let's remember, aging is just a part of the big picture of life. By staying mindful, taking good care of ourselves, and supporting science, we can face aging not with worry, 
but with wonder. It's all about enjoying every step of this journey, together, with eyes and hearts wide open to the lessons all around us. This is the true art of living well, seeing every moment as a chance to grow, to learn, and to be kind, guided by the gentle wisdom that connects old truths with new discoveries. 2. Mindfulness, Stress Reduction, and Telomeres Imagine finding a secret path in a bustling city that leads you to a quiet, peaceful garden. This is a lot like discovering mindfulness in our busy lives. Mindfulness means living right in this moment, feeling fully alive, and not getting tangled up in worries about tomorrow or yesterday. It's an old idea, taught by Buddha. And now, scientists are also saying it's good for us, especially as we get older. It turns out, being mindful can help keep our bodies feeling young and healthy. Let's explore how this works, focusing on something tiny inside us that has a big job. Telomeres. Telomeres are like the little plastic tips at the end of shoelaces, but for our DNA. They keep our DNA safe so our cells can do their job well. But when we're stressed, these telomeres can get shorter, and that's not good for our health. It can make us age faster, which means our bodies might not work as well as we'd like. But here's the hopeful part. By being mindful and reducing stress, we can protect our telomeres. Think of mindfulness as a cozy blanket, wrapping our telomeres in warmth, keeping them longer and us healthier. People who spend time meditating, which is one way to be mindful, often have healthier telomeres. This doesn't just mean looking younger, it means feeling better too. Bringing mindfulness into our daily lives is simpler than it sounds. It could be taking a deep breath before starting the day, enjoying the taste of your food without rushing, or feeling the breeze on your face during a walk. These small moments of peace can help lower stress and make our telomeres, and us, happier. Being connected with others, sharing and caring, can also make a big difference in reducing stress. Feeling like we're part of a community can help keep our telomeres healthy, just like meditation and mindfulness do. It's nice to know we're not alone, and together, we can handle whatever comes our way. Accepting life's ups and downs is part of mindfulness. When we stop fighting life's flow and move with it, we find peace. This peace keeps our telomeres in good shape, helping us age gracefully. Mindfulness is more than just a practice, it's a way to live. Making choices that are good for us, like eating healthy, sleeping well, and doing things we enjoy, are steps towards a less stressed and more vibrant life. Scientists are curious to learn even more about how being mindful can help our telomeres and keep us healthy. This journey of discovery blends old wisdom with new findings, opening up exciting ways to take care of ourselves. By choosing to be mindful and focus on lowering stress, we're not just helping our telomeres, we're choosing a fuller, brighter life. It's not about changing who we are, but being more present in our own lives, enjoying each moment, and treating ourselves and others kindly. So as we move forward, let's keep in mind the power of living in the now and the calmness it brings. Our telomeres might just thrive, giving us the gift of health and many happy years. Mindfulness shows us a gentle yet powerful way to live, bringing health and happiness closer with each breath we take. And if this is making sense to you, don't forget to like and subscribe to our Wisdom in Real Life channel. 3. Compassion, Social Connections, and Longevity Imagine walking through life with friends and family by your side, feeling the warmth of their support and love. This feeling, this connection with others, is a treasure. It's like having a secret superpower that can make us happier and even help us live longer. Today we're diving into how caring for others and making strong friendships isn't just good for our hearts, but can actually keep us healthy and add years to our lives. Let's explore the magic of compassion and friendship. Compassion is all about wanting to help others feel better. When we do something kind, it's like a boomerang of happiness. It comes right back to us. This act of sharing love not only makes the world a nicer place, but can also make our hearts healthier. 
It's like planting seeds of kindness that grow into a garden of well-being for everyone. Having friends and family around us is like being wrapped in a warm blanket on a cold day. It protects us from feeling lonely, which is really important because feeling lonely can be as unhealthy as smoking a lot of cigarettes. Sharing our stories, laughing together, and helping each other out make life's journey smoother and happier. Being kind to ourselves and others can melt away stress like sunshine on a frosty morning. Less stress means our bodies are happier too. We sleep better, our hearts beat more calmly, and we just feel good. It's as if every act of kindness sends a wave of calm through our bodies, keeping us healthy. Doing nice things for others without expecting anything back, like volunteering, is a special kind of magic. Studies show that people who help out in their communities tend to live longer. It's as if by giving, we're receiving extra time, more moments to enjoy life and spread happiness. Keeping in touch with friends as we grow older is like keeping our favorite memories alive. These friendships keep us sharp, help us laugh at life's little jokes, and give us shoulders to lean on. It's these ties that add not just years to our life, but life to our years. When we care for others, it's like sending out good vibes that come back to help lower inflammation in our bodies. Inflammation is a tricky thing that can cause all sorts of health troubles as we get older. But through compassion, we can fight it off, staying active and vibrant as we age. Creating a circle of friends where everyone looks out for each other can make everyone feel good. This circle becomes a net that catches us when we fall and lifts us when we're down. It's this shared happiness and health that makes our community a brighter, healthier place. Being there for someone when they need it ties us together in special ways. It makes us feel like we're part of something bigger, giving us a reason to jump out of bed in the morning. This feeling of belonging can make us healthier and happier. Caring about others influences us to live better too. When we see the world as a place where we're all connected, we make choices that are good for everyone. Eating healthier, staying active, and sharing smiles makes life better, not just for us, but for everyone around us. In this journey of life, the real treasure is the kindness we share and the connections we make. Compassion and friendship sprinkle our days with joy and weave a safety net that keeps us all feeling supported. It's these bonds that light up our lives, making each day brighter and every year richer. Let's hold on to these connections, for they are the heartbeats of a life well-lived, full of laughter, love, and health. 4. Diet, Mindfulness Eating, and Longevity Eating is more than just grabbing a quick snack when we're hungry. It's a chance to really take care of ourselves. Think of it as turning mealtime into a peaceful moment, where we enjoy every bite and think about the goodness we're giving our bodies. This idea is called mindful eating, it's about truly being there with our food, enjoying its taste, smell, and how it makes us feel. By eating this way, we can live healthier and longer lives. Let's dive into how being mindful about what and how we eat can be a game changer for our health. Mindful eating means paying full attention to our food without distractions. Imagine eating an apple and really tasting it, the sweetness, the crunch, and how it feels in your mouth. This helps us enjoy our food more and can even stop us from eating too much without thinking. When we eat mindfully, we start to choose better food. It's like picking the best fuel for our body. We go for colorful fruits, veggies, and whole grains that fill us up with good energy. Each meal becomes a chance to help our bodies feel great. Eating slowly and saying thanks for our food helps our stomachs digest better. Our bodies have more time to break down what we eat and take in all the good stuff from our food. It's like making sure none of the goodness goes to waste. Thinking about where our food comes from makes us choose foods that are not only good for us but also for our planet. This could mean eating more plants, which helps both our health and the earth. Mindful eating can help us keep a healthy weight. By listening to when we're really hungry or full, we naturally find a balance that feels right. 
It's not about strict diets. It's about having a happy relationship with food. Choosing healthy foods like fruits, veggies, and grains can keep us away from sicknesses like diabetes or heart problems. It's a way to take charge of our health and stay away from things that could make us unwell. Eating together with friends and family is a big part of mindful eating. It turns mealtime into a happy, shared time, making us feel closer and more connected. Eating together is as good for our hearts and minds as the food is for our bodies. Being mindful makes us see how amazing food really is. We start to notice all the different tastes and textures, and every meal feels like a little celebration of life. By really paying attention to how hungry or full we are, we learn to eat just the right amount. It helps us enjoy our meals without going overboard. Lastly, mindful eating does more than just help our bodies. It makes us feel more grateful, patient, and present in the moment, qualities that make every part of our lives better. By bringing mindfulness into our meals, we turn eating into a special experience. It's not just about filling up, it's about really nourishing ourselves, body and soul. This way of eating can lead us to a life that's not only longer, but also fuller and happier. Let's enjoy this journey, one mindful bite at a time, creating meals that feed our bodies and our spirits. And if this is making sense to you, don't forget to like and subscribe to our Wisdom in Real Life channel. 5. Physical Activity, Meditation, and Aging Life is a lot like a beautiful dance between moving around and sitting quietly. Imagine using two amazing tools, getting active and meditating, to help us stay young and lively as we grow older. It's kind of like how a plant needs both sunlight and water to grow strong. Our bodies and minds need exercise and moments of quiet to stay healthy and happy through the years. Let's see how mixing up moving our bodies with peaceful meditation can be our secret recipe for a fun and young life, no matter how many birthdays we celebrate. Being active isn't just about staying in shape. It's about keeping our hearts happy, our muscles strong, and our bones tough. Whether we're walking, swimming, or dancing to our favorite tunes, it's like sending a wave of life through us, making sure every bit of us feels alive. This isn't about tough workouts, but finding joy in moving in ways that make us smile and feel great. Then there's meditation, our time for quiet strength. It's about sitting still, taking deep breaths, and letting our thoughts drift away. This calm time is super good for us, not just for our minds, but for our bodies too. It helps melt away stress, which can make us age faster. When we mix moving with being still, they work together perfectly, making each other even better. Doing things like walking or yoga can make our minds clearer and our moods brighter. It's as if being active clears the clouds away, helping us think better and feel happier. And when we meditate after moving, we find an even deeper calm, like discovering a peaceful spot in the middle of a forest. Exercise gives us a big boost of energy. It's better than any coffee because this energy lasts all day, making everything we do feel easier and more fun. After we've moved and had our fun, sitting down to meditate gives us a chance to rest in the quiet, charging up our batteries for what's next. Mixing exercise with meditation can also help us sleep like a log at night. The exercise tires us out in the best way, and meditation smooths out our busy thoughts, making it easy to fall into dreamland. Good sleep is like a treasure for staying young. It's when our bodies fix up and refresh themselves. Doing both is amazing for our hearts. While being active makes our hearts strong, meditation can lower our blood pressure and chill us out keeping our hearts beating happily. It's like giving our hearts a big hug every day. Meditation helps us notice more about our bodies and the choices we make, like eating healthy or deciding to take the stairs instead of the elevator. It lights up the path, showing us how to live a long and happy life. Staying active and taking time to meditate can even make aches and pains take a back seat, especially the ones that come with getting older it's like having a natural way to feel better, helping us stay bendy and comfy 
so we can enjoy every day to the fullest. These activities also help us make friends and feel connected. Maybe it's walking with neighbors, joining a class, or meditating with friends. These moments connect us with others, filling our lives with love and support. Lastly, getting active and finding time for quiet teaches us to be strong no matter what. Life might get tough, but with a healthy body and a peaceful mind, we can face anything with a smile. It's about standing tall, rain or shine, and finding a quiet spot inside when things get wild outside. Mixing up exercise with moments of meditation is like creating a magical mix that keeps us feeling young, energetic, and happy. It's about taking care of ourselves in the best ways, enjoying every move, breath, and heartbeat. This blend of action and peace is our secret to not just growing old gracefully, but living vibrantly, enjoying every moment life has to offer. 6. Sleep, Restoration, and Cellular Health Think of sleep as a superhero for our bodies. Every night, when we close our eyes, this superhero gets to work, fixing and cleaning our cells so we can be strong and healthy. It's not just about feeling rested. Good sleep is a secret key to staying young and energetic. Let's dive into how our sleep works like magic to keep every part of us in top shape. First, imagine our brains getting a special cleaning service while we sleep. This cleanup crew makes sure all the waste from the day's thinking is swept away. It's like making our minds fresh and ready for a new day, helping us think clearly and remember things better. When we're asleep, it's time for our body's repair team to get busy. They fix our muscles and even our heart, making sure everything's in good shape for the next day. It's like our bodies have their own maintenance schedule, and sleep is when they do all the important work. Sleep is like a shield for our health, too. It powers up our immune system, making us strong against colds or the flu. It's as if our body's defense system gets an upgrade every night, ready to protect us from germs. Our body also checks all its systems while we sleep, making sure everything's balanced, especially our hormones. These hormones help us grow, stay calm, and even make sure we don't get too hungry or too stressed. It's like sleep tunes up our inner workings to keep us feeling just right. Getting enough sleep is like having a health insurance policy. It keeps our heart healthy and our blood sugar levels just where they should be, helping us dodge big health troubles like heart disease or diabetes. It's our body's way of taking care of the big stuff while we're off in dreamland. When we sleep well, we're helping our cells stay young. Good sleep is like a fountain of youth, repairing our cells and keeping our skin glowing. It's as if we get a bit more sparkle and energy with every good night's sleep. Sleeping well also means we wake up feeling peaceful and ready to face the day. It cuts down on stress and makes problems seem smaller. It's like getting a fresh start every morning, feeling ready and excited for what's next. A good night's sleep makes our hearts lighter too. We feel happier and less worried. It's as if sleep lifts our spirits, making everything seem a bit brighter and more fun. Sleep is also super important for learning. It's like hitting the save button on everything new we learn during the day. This means we can keep getting smarter and remembering things better thanks to a good night's sleep. Lastly, making sleep a big deal shows we care about ourselves. It's like saying, I'm important and I deserve to feel great. Good sleep is just as important as eating healthy or exercising. It's one of the pillars of a happy, healthy life. So, let's remember how powerful sleep is. It's like a superhero for our health, working every night to keep us fit, happy, and smart. Giving ourselves the gift of good sleep is one of the best things we can do. It keeps us dancing through life, feeling good, and ready for anything. And if this is making sense to you, don't forget to like and subscribe to our Wisdom in Real Life channel. 7. The Role of Stem Cells in Aging and Rejuvenation Think of our bodies as busy cities where special workers, called stem cells, are always ready to fix and build things. 
These amazing cells can turn into any type of cell we need, whether it's for our heart, brain, or skin. They're like superheroes in the world of staying young and healing. Let's explore how these incredible cells are working hard to keep us feeling fresh and lively. Stem cells are like the body's all-star fixers. They can change into different types of cells to repair our bodies or replace old parts that aren't working well anymore. It's as if we have a natural toolkit inside us, ready to patch up damages or even make new parts when needed. But as we get older, our stem cells start to slow down a bit, like a repair team that's getting tired. Scientists are looking into ways to pep them up so they can keep our bodies in top shape, just like when we were younger. This could mean we'd heal faster from cuts or illnesses and stay healthier as we age. These cells are always on the lookout for problems to fix, keeping our bodies running smoothly. It's a bit like having a maintenance crew that's constantly on the move, oiling squeaky hinges and tightening loose screws to make sure everything works well. There's exciting work being done to see if stem cells can help us turn back the clock on aging. Imagine if we could introduce new, youthful stem cells into our bodies to take over from the ones that are getting a bit worn out. It's like bringing in fresh workers to help out the tired ones, keeping our bodies feeling young and strong. Taking care of our stem cells is important, and things like eating well, staying active and not smoking can make a big difference. It's like making sure those all-star fixers have the best tools and materials they need to do their job well. In the future, stem cells might even help fix parts of the body that currently can't heal very well on their own, like our hearts or brains. This could be a big deal for diseases that are hard to treat now, offering new hope for many people. Understanding how stem cells work helps scientists learn more about aging. This knowledge could lead to new ways to help us stay youthful and healthy, preventing the effects of getting older before they even start. Stem cells can also be used to test new medicines in a safe way. By using these cells to mimic different parts of the body, researchers can see how a new drug works without having to try it on people first. This means we can get new medicines faster and more safely. Supporting stem cell research is something we can all get behind. Like supporting a local team, cheering on this research can speed up discoveries that might one day help us all live longer healthier lives. It's also important to think about the right way to do stem cell research, making sure it's done in a way that's safe and fair. We all want to find amazing new treatments, but it's crucial to do it the right way. Stem cells have the potential to change how we think about aging and healing. By taking care of ourselves and backing research, we can unlock the secrets of these remarkable cells, opening up a world where we all have the chance to live our healthiest happiest lives. Let's stay excited about the future and all the possibilities it holds for us. 8. NAD Plus and its role in aging and energy metabolism. Let's talk about NAD Plus, a tiny but mighty helper in our bodies. Think of NAD Plus as the spark that keeps our energy burning bright. It's like a superhero for our cells, helping them turn what we eat into the power we need to think, play, and go about our day. As we grow older, keeping this superhero strong helps us stay full of life and energy. Let's dive into how NAD Plus is like our body's own battery booster and how it keeps us feeling young and zippy. NAD Plus is a little helper found in every one of our cells. It's super important because it helps make energy. Imagine it like a battery that keeps our cells running smoothly so we can do all our favorite things. But here's the thing. As we get older, our NAD plus levels start to dip, kind of like a battery losing its charge. This can make our cells feel a bit tired, which means we might not feel as sparky as we used to. The good news is that scientists think if we can find ways to keep our NAD plus levels up, we could keep feeling lively and quick, even as we get more candles on our birthday cake. It's like finding a way to recharge our body's battery to keep the energy flowing. NAD Plus is also a bit like a repair worker for our DNA, our body's instruction manual. 
Keeping our DNA in tip-top shape helps us stay healthy. With plenty of NAD+, it's like having a crack team, making sure all the instructions are followed correctly, which helps slow down aging. We can give our NAD plus levels a little boost in simple ways, like choosing certain foods, moving our bodies, and soaking up some sunshine. It's like turning up the brightness on our energy levels. Besides just helping us feel energized, NAD plus plays a big part in keeping our cells young and zippy. It works behind the scenes to make sure our cells are running like well-oiled machines, which helps keep us feeling young. Some smart folks studying NAD Plus think it might help our hearts stay strong and our minds sharp as we get older. It's as if NAD Plus is wearing a cape, ready to save the day for our hearts and brains. There's talk about making supplements to help boost NAD Plus levels, offering a simple way to help us keep that spring in our step and our bodies feeling youthful, kind of like having a handy power bank for our cells. But boosting NAD Plus isn't just about supplements. Making good choices every day, like eating yummy, healthy foods, staying active, and getting plenty of rest, all help keep our NAD Plus levels happy, which keeps our energy up and our aging down. Supporting the smart people looking into NAD Plus and aging could lead to exciting discoveries that help us all stay bouncy and bright-eyed as we grow older. It's a peek into the future of feeling great, no matter our age. NAD Plus may be small, but its role in our bodies is huge. Keeping our NAD Plus levels buzzing could unlock the secret to a lively, energetic life as we age. Let's stay curious and excited about the science that's helping us understand how to keep our inner spark glowing bright. And if this is making sense to you, don't forget to like and subscribe to our Wisdom in Real Life channel. 9. The Psychological Aspects of Aging and Buddhist Mind Training Growing older is like going on a big adventure where both our bodies and our thoughts go through a lot of changes. Just like the leaves turn colors and fall, our lives change too. But what if we had a special guide to help us through these changes? Buddhism, with its ancient wisdom, teaches us how to embrace aging with a smile and a peaceful mind. It's like having a map that shows us how to find joy and stay strong, even when things get tough. Buddhism teaches us to live in the moment, to really notice and appreciate the here and now instead of worrying about yesterday or tomorrow. This way of living can make the changes that come with getting older feel less scary. It's like being on a boat, riding the waves of change with ease instead of feeling tossed around. We learn to see that everything in life including being young, doesn't last forever. But instead of making us sad, this knowledge can bring us peace. It helps us understand that change is just a natural part of life's big adventure. Being kind to ourselves and to others becomes even more important as we age. This kindness, or compassion as it's called in Buddhism, is like a warm hug for our hearts. It makes us feel connected and loved which can make the challenges of aging a lot easier to handle. Plus, Buddhism encourages us to sit quietly and meditate, which is like building a cozy shelter inside us. This shelter keeps us strong, so when life gets stormy, we can find a calm space within. It teaches us to let go of wanting more stuff, of worrying too much about our looks or what others think of us. This letting go frees us from a lot of stress and makes room for happiness in the simple things. As we get older, it's normal for our minds to feel a bit foggy at times. But meditation and mindfulness can clear away the fog, helping us see our lives and choices more clearly. It's like cleaning our glasses so we can see the beauty of the world in high definition. Focusing on what we're thankful for can also change how we see aging. Instead of missing our youth, we start to treasure the wisdom and stories we've gathered along the way. It's like flipping through a photo album and feeling happy for all the memories, instead of sad that those days are gone. Buddhism also talks about the importance of friends and community. Having people to share our journey with makes everything a lot more fun. It's like having travel buddies on the adventure of life. They're there to share the laughs, 
the stories, and even the bumps in the road. And when we face our fears about getting older, Buddhism teaches us to do it bravely, to look at our worries like they're just clouds in the sky. They might block the sun for a bit, but they always pass. Finally, Buddhism shows us that aging is not just a bunch of birthdays, but a chance to grow in wisdom, to learn more about kindness, and to share what we've learned with others. It's about celebrating the journey with all its twists and turns and knowing that every step, every breath, is part of something beautiful. So, as we all travel through the years, let's remember the lessons Buddhism offers. They don't just help us deal with getting older, they invite us to embrace it, to find the joy in every moment, and to fill our hearts with peace and kindness. This way, the path of aging becomes not just easier, but richer, filled with laughter, love, and light. 10. Building a supportive community for aging. Imagine a place where growing older is celebrated, a community where everyone, no matter their age, supports each other like a big, happy family. This isn't just a dream, it's something we can all help create. A community like this can turn the journey of getting older into something wonderful, full of friendship, laughter, and shared moments. Let's talk about how we can build this kind of community, making aging a journey we all look forward to. In our dream community, every person is important. Just like in a family, from the youngest to the oldest, everyone's stories and experiences are treasures. We listen to our elders, not just for their tales from the past, but for the wisdom they share with us about how to live a good life. It's about seeing the twinkle in their eyes and learning from the paths they've walked. Listening is key in this community. It means creating spaces where everyone feels safe to open up about what they're going through, the good and the tough times. Knowing that there are friends around who really hear us makes us all feel more connected and less alone. Looking out for each other is what makes this community special. It's about more than just saying hello. It's making sure our friends and neighbors have what they need, whether that's a hand with groceries or someone to chat with over a cup of tea. It's like we all become helpers for each other, sharing kindness every day. Fun activities bring everyone together. Imagine community gardens where we can grow veggies and flowers, dance classes where we can sway and twirl, or art sessions where we can paint and draw. These gatherings are the heartbeats of our community, where every laugh and shared story makes life brighter. Emotional and mental support is also a big deal. Having programs that help us tackle challenges, from feeling lonely to staying healthy, means no one has to face tough times alone. It's about caring for each other, not just in physical ways, but in supporting each other's hearts and minds, too. Technology helps us stay connected, making sure no one is left out. It can be a way for us to keep in touch with family, join in on activities, or explore new hobbies, all from our own homes. It's about using gadgets and apps to bring us closer, not keep us apart. Never stopping learning is what keeps our minds sharp. Classes on everything from healthy living to how to use the latest smartphone can keep us curious and engaged. It's about always growing, finding new passions, and keeping our dreams alive no matter our age. Volunteering is the magic that keeps our community strong. When everyone, young and old, pitches in to help out, it creates a circle of giving that makes everyone feel happy and valued. It shows that we all have something special to offer. Our community knows that aging is something we all share. So, everything from the sidewalks to the programs is made with everyone in mind making sure it's a safe, welcoming place for all ages. It's about building a world that supports us all as we grow older. Celebrating aging is what this community does best, whether it's festivals that honor our elders or stories that highlight the beauty of growing older. We all come together to appreciate every stage of life. It makes everyone feel special and cherished. By dreaming of and working towards a community like this, we can make the experience of getting older something to look forward to. It's about creating a place where every person, from the little kids to the grandmas and grandpas, feels loved, supported, 
and part of a big, caring family. This vision for a supportive community isn't just a nice thought. It's a plan for a happier, more connected way of life. Let's all take steps to make this dream come true. Building communities where aging is an adventure we're all excited to share. Conclusion As we come to the end of our journey talking about growing older, we've learned a lot about how to make the most of our later years. We found out that being mindful, staying active, and having friends and family around us can really make a difference. It's not just about having more birthdays, it's about making every day special and full of joy. Growing older is an adventure. It's a time for gathering happy memories, sharing laughter with friends, and helping others whenever we can. Every day gives us something to be thankful for, whether it's a quiet morning or a fun afternoon with loved ones. So, let's take all these great ideas with us as we move forward. Let's make every single day meaningful, enjoying the little things and facing any tough times with courage. By looking out for each other and making the most of every moment, we can make the journey of getting older something to look forward to. Thanks for coming along on this adventure with us. Here's to all the wonderful days ahead, filled with good health, lots of smiles, and the company of great friends and family. Let's keep discovering, caring, and living life to its fullest, all together. And if this is making sense to you, don't forget to like and subscribe to our Wisdom in Real Life channel.